I said to love, what can you do for me? And love said to me, what can you do for me? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sure I phrased it much better a minute ago in my head. Hello YouTube. <clears throat> I can channel the one love. Okay. So I got as far as I am. <laughs> and um and I thought I should record this. And we got I actually got as far as I am with you all. I am. I am the light. Grow. Please. Like in the sense of please. Not begging, but please, like, please me. Please yourself, that sort of thing. Please. Love your neighbor. Help others. And those in need. The sun changing. Brighter. Revolutionize. I am the light within you. I am the source.
hold on to me. Welcome me. Allow me to enter. Encourage others. Believe in yourself. Have the wherewithal. Embrace open. Each cloud horizon so I'm going to just step in here me Stephen right so obviously it seems to me like Love is just sort of listing words. And I guess this makes this a silly idea in a sense because, you know, it's all been said. It's all been said before. We don't need new words. We need action. But this is what happened earlier this evening. I took another a big step. I accepted something I hadn't been willing to accept. And I thought my brain might blow up. And I got, you know, got the old heart rocking, beating again. I'm kind of used to that now. That's, it actually helped because it actually helped me stay down in my heart space. And because the way it came about was thinking that this body is the Christ. This is the body of Christ, this physical body. You know, it's not me, I'm controlling it, but it's not me. And smoking the cannabis and activating the DNA to do what it's supposed to do. And it was um, mega. And uh, my whole brain was just... The whole area was just buzzing like mad. And, um, and then I just, like, after that one, I knew that was big, that was just big. And then the next sitting, I sort of got the feeling like, 
See, the Eternal One love does kind of have I don't know, sort of I want to use the word personality but it's not like personality not like the personality of our mother and father Jesus or us but like I said at the beginning I felt love come in for some reason the first thing I sort of said in my head was made me or made me think you know is what what can you do for me you've come into my head what can you do for me sort of thing it came across quite sort of rude and it was just this reaction like a bit feisty like love love was a bit feisty perhaps the question is what can you do for me? You know, and it's like it is this symbiotic relationship. I think that's what I call a realization. Something made me trigger. Suddenly, that was it. Boom, that's what it is. It's a symbiotic relationship. Between us entities and the one eternal love. Wow. Wow. Actually, it's, it is, you know, when I was feeling it, it's like, a, it's like the serpent. I was actually thinking worm. The worm I remember in the Mr. Men. It's like that. It comes from behind. And it usually goes in the middle of my back. But now I have a, a strain of it going into my head into the back of my head. Now if you do meditation and as long as you, nothing's pressing on the back of your head it's not often you get stuff there. It's a safe place your back. The one eternal love has your back. I just got a nice little feeling of agreement there. And we do something for the one eternal love. We enact out this being that we are. Now, this physical world is just crash, you know? This is just crash course teach you something about yourself and then <clears throat> you're ready to realize you are going to live forever you really are and we're all connected You know, meditating can save you time. But it's not about saving time, obviously. It's a little speech I did earlier. But you realise what's important. And all the important things can be done meditating. Because they're, they're eternal things. They're things that if, if you leave them be, they'll hinder you forever. 
And if you deal with them, you'll benefit forever. And here's something else I thought was possible earlier. It's possible that we've suppressed positive emotions in our life. So when you're going back in your life, it might not all be negative. Especially in the teens, sometimes, you know, suppressing some sort of happy emotion because you want to just act grumpy. Anyway. <laughs> Back to preaching and sermon. You know, I... I had an odd thing for, for me last night and this morning, which was, you know, I've got so used to adversity, you know, I've been against the, the masses, in a sense, for such a long time, it's, it's so nice, different, and therefore slightly awkward to sort of receive a compliment, you know, and, but yeah, I'll definitely get used to it quickly. Sorry, I shouldn't have brought that negativity in, I should have phrased it more positively, because it was a positive thing. Yeah, maybe I've got a lot of happy emotions I've been suppressing. Wow, wouldn't that be a waste? Wouldn't that be silly? Because that's like... delaying your progress. And you could be feeling happy, joyful emotions. <laughs> and you need to be open to the concept that it's possible, in a sense, to be able to discover them. Wow. Feeling some stuff. Feeling it, yeah. Well, hasn't this been <laughs> enjoyable? Um... I'm not going to edit, I'm sorry, so most people probably only watch a second of this. Anyway. Should not anticipate, for you do not know what will happen. Just let it be. Live in the now. Allow what comes. Yeah. And if you're getting frustrated about this event not happening, I do get a feeling that, yeah, I did mention something about the sun, and that was. You know, the thing about my trying to channel then at the beginning of this, I just kept getting thoughts that I'd been thinking for the last 10 minutes, having the eternal one love in my head, in a sense. So I know, it's probably just, sometimes maybe I I would just be saying what that said. Any, anyway, oh yeah, I just remembered the symbiotic. Wow, I need to think about that. That is that is big. That's big, brothers and sisters. Okay. I love you all. We're all one big family. <laughs>